All right, guys. It's 11.33 a.m. on October 7th, 2017, and Chad Myers is just going to spin this yarn longer and longer and longer. Let's take a listen to what he has to say about now Hurricane Nate. Now, it's going to be a 90-mile-per-hour storm. It may be stronger, but it isn't strengthening right now. And that's going to make landfall very close to either Plaquemines Parish, which is the extent way down here on the bottom of the Mississippi River, missing New Orleans proper, but still, hey, New Orleans, you're going to get 75-mile-per-hour winds. So that's not a miss. And it's not going to miss Panama City because you're going to get 60-mile-per-hour winds. So it's that wide swath of what's going to happen with this. And a 90-mile-per-hour wind gust or a 100-mile-per-hour wind gust in Biloxi or Gulfport or Bay St. Louis, that is going to be the bullseye. But you can't focus on the bullseye. This storm is going to be all the way from New Orleans with significantly heavy rain, possibly trying to flood the city with fresh water because the pumps are working, but you can't put tens of inches anywhere. Now, this is a quick-moving storm. We don't anticipate that, but neither did Havana expect to see such a big storm this morning, but it's there right now. Is it really? Let's see. He said there's a big storm right there in Havana right now. Let's take a peek. Let's go to Intellicast. Let's type in Havana and see what they've got going on there. Because I got news for you guys. Here's Havana, Cuba, right? Let's look at their past observations. Because this is supposed to be where a tropical storm, now a hurricane, it just passed through. Let's take a peek at their most recent observations. Their wind speeds are 8 miles an hour as of 9, 10 o'clock this morning. Okay? And let's look and see what this broken clouds, broken clouds, broken clouds, overcast, broken clouds, overcast, overcast, broken clouds, overcast. Doesn't look like it's been pummeling with rain there. What big storm is he talking about? Because it's not being registered by their weather stations here, guys. Let's take a peek at their wind. Their wind speed should surely show 65, 70 mile an hour winds, but they don't. Okay, as of 6.55 p.m. last night, the highest wind speed was recorded in Havana, Cuba was 14 miles an hour. This narrative does not match reality. Let's go take a peek back at Cancun, because this was supposed to have blitzed through Cancun in Playa del Carmen. Let's just look at Cancun. We're going to look at the last information here we got from Cancun. Past observations, because right now it's broken clouds. Right now the wind speeds are 10 miles an hour. Okay, so maybe pass through. Let's take a peek and see. We surely should see 65 mile an hour winds, 70 mile an hour winds. If it's a hurricane, 74 mile an hour winds. Let's take a peek and see what we got wind-wise over here in Cancun. Since, since 12.47 p.m., highest wind speeds 14 miles an hour. Let's take a peek at this horrible rainstorm that happened. Broken clouds, overcast, 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 overcast. Broken clouds, scattered clouds. Not a mention of rain, guys. This is a complete fraud. Look at the wind speeds going through here. Seven miles an hour, six miles an hour. None of this. This is, this is not real. This is a complete fraud. But let's take a peek to make sure because our, our, our uh, National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration has millions of buoys in the water. So let's hit the storm special and view the latest observations near Atlantic Hurricane Nate. Because these are just independent data readers. Let's see what it has to say. These, these numbers here are the identification number of all the buoys that are in that particular path. Let's read. Let's see. First, let's benchmark here to get you guys to see that a hurricane wind speeds would have to be 74 miles an hour, which would be 64 knots. So let's go back to the NOAA buoys here and take a peek. Here we have this column here, WSPD in KTS. means these are registered in knots. Remember, we need to see knots of 64 knots for it to qualify as a hurricane. Here we go. Let's take a, a, a peek at the wind speeds. Wind speeds, 9.7, 9.7, 7.8, 21.4, 23.3. All the way down. These are all independent. These are all little measurements that are floating in the water. And just because we don't know how to read them doesn't mean we shouldn't know what they say. Here's what it says right here, 20 knots, 19 knots. So the highest wind speed we've recorded by the NOAA buoys the actual measurements, this is like the thermometers. Okay, these are the actual measurements in the floating water, in the path, according to NOAA. This is their actual, this is their hurricane storm special information, okay? With the most current recent information, it's right here. This is it, real-time, real-time data, guys. 23.3 knots. Let's just see how fast that is. Let's go to 23.3 knots. It's only 26 miles an hour, guys. So why is he reporting that there's a hurricane here? 
they called it a hurricane. But what, by all measurements, the actual measurements by which we measure a hurricane, wind speeds, rain, none of this stuff is here. Even our own national instruments that measure this stuff. You guys want to tell me Noah is lying? You want to tell me that every single one of their floating buoys is wrong? Why don't we ask the heck what's going on with this media? What in the hell are they giving us this lie for, you guys? Let's take a peek and see what's actually happening on radar. This is what's happening in Cuba. Go back to my other videos. I'll put links in the description. You can see this is exactly how Hurricane Irma became a hurricane. It wasn't a hurricane for the six or seven days before it hit Florida. It was just nothing. There was no storm there, nothing. Just like there's been no storm here called Tropical Storm Nate. This is a lie. Our government has hijacked the media. This is a propaganda arm. When I say propaganda, you guys, the only, uh, the only objective of propaganda is to shape public opinion and shape public, public understanding. It does not mean that, that New Orleans and, and Florida and, and uh, Mississippi and Alabama, that they're not going to be hit. Oh, they're going to be hit by something, guys. He's sitting here telling you that they're going to be hit. But it's not going to be by the lie storm that they've been creating in the news. And you have to wonder why they're giving you this information that they're putting the city on lockdown. They're putting the city under martial law, the state of emergency. Why are they doing that? Why? Because it's a propaganda arm, and this is what they're actually doing. We own Cuba. Don't pretend that this is not something that, that the entire news media, the entire international news media is not complicit in. There's a reason why they're not showing you this radar. There's a reason why they're not sharing this data with you. Thank God that we still have access to these things, but this is the only way we're going to find out what's really happening here is by using the actual measurements, the thermometers of wind that are floating in the ocean right now as they are, as they are reported by the actual National Oceanic Atmospheric Association, Atmospheric Administration. This data counts, guys, and the truth matters.